Hey there guys, it's Nintendo Will Illusion, welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 4. In the last episode, we've killed the lovely Big Cheese, he's apparently dead because of Leon. <laughs> so, we got his false eye after being killed by Leon, and we used his false eye to open a massive gate, and we ended up in this massive castle. Yay, Ashley and Leon is on a nice tour, right? Hopefully there will be a guide to lead us where to go, and hopefully we'll be able to see some nice, lovely looking, you know, galleries. Hopefully no enemies exist. And we've got loads of few items, like toys, to test out. We've, I've changed sniper rifle into semi-automatic sniper rifle, and we've got a mine thrower, and also we've got a new pistol called Black Tail. So these are the three items that we will be testing out on something whenever we counter a monster, and hopefully we will. <laughs> Alright, so we are inside the castle. I've never been in a huge castle before, but I really would love to. And, ooh, looks like... Looks lovely. And, oh wow. It's the cult. Yes. So there are a th few things you could do. Well, my old-fashioned way is that I don't like to go straight ahead and try and kill them. Instead, I want to snipe them from the distance. Oh, what? I pressed A. Just a minute. And there we go. There we go. Yeah, if you have the sniper rifle automatic on semi-automatic with this sniper rifle, it is really comfortable. And let's change our weapon. And let's go ahead. Oh, lovely. Holy shit. <laughs> They're throwing a cannon. A catapult. I don't know. <laughs> a rock cannon, I suppose. And be careful about these because if Ashley gets hit, she will instantly die. So be very delicate to her. Make sure not to get hit by the catapult or the cannons. If she does, the Ashley will die. So, but not Leon. I, th I thought that would instantly kill you, but when you get hit by it, you don't. Let's check this. Hmm, it looks like this still, this still might, this still work. There's got to be a mechanism somewhere to pull this thing up. How the hell, how on earth is this thing is like, oh, it would still work. It looks like more than like 500 years old, and somehow I don't know how that it still works. Maybe there's cannons and gunpowder is still there. Now, there are a th few things you don't want to miss out while you're going on ahead. There's a cannon up there, so, no, not, not a cannon barrel, if you shoot that, the red coat, the red colt will die. Well, in this game, the, the black colt and a red colt, and blue, well, you'll be able to see that, you'll be able to see that later. The, um, the red colt is the leader of the black colt, well, he is the main leader, so he will be leading the black colt, and doing so. Now, you don't want to move on because you don't want to go straight. There's another cannon up there. You want to shoot that dude down. And another one over there. So they're all dead. Now, you want to be careful here. Is that this guy is holding a scythe? Because if you're not careful with it, it will decapitate your head. Or if your health is low, then your head will get decapitated by that scythe. It is, like I told you before, this game, when Leon dies, sometimes he can die in a really violent way. So, Wait. yeah, you, want, you definitely want to be careful about that. Now, here, um... Well, if you want to move fast... Wait, oh crap, I think there's a cult I can see, and I don't think I'll be able to make it on time. Yes, there we go. Oh. You... No, you're still there. Now, there's a new move you can use on these cult. Um, you can't do this to village. It only works on the cult dudes. Uh, when they kneel down, you can use the suplex move. Suplex or suplex? It's supposed to be a wrestling move. So, don't know how Leon does it, but seems like these guys are pretty skinny to, uh, to be able to use that move. So, yeah. <laughs> of course. Using a soup suplex would, would take lots of energy to do that, right? I mean, you would have to lift their body and flip it over and make their head land onto the ground. So, yeah, that's what you have to do on that soup suplex move. 
So it does take a lot of effort, and if you're not careful enough, it will damage your spine as well. <laughs> so after using this cannon, and you can actually feel, before I shot the cannon, there was like a like creepy bit of a creepy theme going on. Well, if you fire the cannon, the theme is gone, which means there are no enemies around you. And there's a yellow herb. There are a few things you can collect here. Of course, yellow herb is definitely important. Well, like I told you, yellow herb increases the, max the maximum capacity of a health, right? So, if you're not... If you're careless on looking after Ashley, you can actually feed this, give this to Ashley, and it will raise a bar of Ashley's health. So that's actually a lot. I thought it would, like, Welcome. rise, raise l less than that, but luckily it does more. And now, what can we upgrade? Right, God, no, we don't need that. Oh yeah, I was about to upgrade my TMP, but then? didn't have much money on the previous episode. Is that all? So I'm going to sell these Is that all? two. <laughs> What are you buying? Hopefully we'll be able to upgrade fully as we desire. There we go. <laughs> yeah, mine you. thrower, nope. Semi-automatic rifle, meh. How about a reload speed? Because I really don't like it when the reload Come speed is so slow and the on. enemy's about to hit me. <laughs> I find that really uncomfortable. Alright, so lovely castle, right? I love it so much. So many tourists. So many guides. Where's your current location? We decided to lay low in a castle, but it looks like it was a bad move. Meaning? Well, it appears that this castle's also connected with the Los Illuminados. They must not get many visitors here, because they're giving me one hell of a welcome. Sounds bad. I have an idea, Leon. I need you to... What? Repeat, Hunnigan. Great. Just my luck. Shit! <laughs> Looks like we've lost contact with Hunnigan, and yes, this place is apparently connected with Los Illuminados. That's why <laughs> they're giving a hell of a welcome about this place, and so, which means this place is related to Sadler, the guy who was the leader of this part of all the community, right? This whole religious community. So yeah, so he must be in this castle, hopefully. And let's beat the hell out of him when we find him. So I'm gonna have a, this herb, and we got loads of health. And lots of shotgun as well. Hmm, lovely. How shall I deal with this? Let's reload our TMP first. Because we gotta do something quite annoying. There's a, loads of coal around this place. And, whoa, that, you're fast, man. Whoa, whoa. Shit. <laughs> Reinforcements. Oh, wow. There we go. I was really, I was like expecting a cult to turn into this parasite freak. And even two, not only one. Crap. Not good. Now, this, this parasite that we see right now, it is com really deadly. The reason why? It looks much different compared to the previous one that we saw, right? The thing about that Parasites. Like, if you get too close and let it attack you, it will eat your head. Well, it will eat Leon's head. And you will die instantly. And your head will be decapitated. It's just gone. <laughs> gone in the thin air. So, when these guys turn into a parasite, kill them instantly. Do not give them a chance to let you, to let it attack you. Oh. Shit. Okay, lovely. No, not lovely. There we go. Knife. Only one? That's a, a three. <laughs> yes, lovely. That, now that's how you save our ammo, guys. Don't always shoot them when even they're laying down. Just knife them to death because it will save a lot of ammo. From now on, there's going to be a lot of enemies. And these cults have much more, well, not much, but a little bit more Wait. amount of health than the other than the other enemies like the villagers. Now here, if you go, yeah. If you're careful enough and quiet enough, you'll be, able, yeah, you'll be able to see the red cult, which is the leader of this place, I suppose, this room. So, this cult will always turn into a parasite when you shoot them in the head. Yes. Now, no, you can see it, notice it hasn't you can notice it still hasn't seen us yet. That, I just want to show you detailly about that parasite. That is deadly. So whenever you see that kind of parasite, 
in an enemy, make sure you kill it instant. Don't let it live because it will come after you. Even though it is slow, it it can kill you in one shot, one one hit KO. It will instantly kill you. So after killing that cult, it will be dead and giving us 4,500 potass. Now here, when I first played this, I was absolutely, absolutely lost and... But this room is completely sim simple. All you have to do is just match the sword into the correct wall. So the wall color of this wall is kind of a bit of a silverish platinum, right? So you put the platinum sword in here and in here you can see the sword holder, well I suppose sword holding wall is made of gold, right? So you can actually just use that to open the door. Now, I was actually expecting like to steal loads of gold in this game when I first played it, but apparently you can't. You, I mean, this kind of castle would contain loads of gold, right? But no, somehow you can't steal much of a stuff, goods. Leon, Lewis, I've got something for you guys. Uh, what? Oh shit! I must have dropped it when I was running away from them. Dropped what? A drug that'll stop your convulsions. Look, I know you're carriers. You've been coughing up blood, right? Yeah. And you? Yes. Damn it! The eggs have hatched. We don't have much time. What are you talking about? I have to go back and get it. Let me come with you. No. You stay here with Leon. He is better with the ladies. I'm sure. Why are you- It makes me feel better. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> From this moment, I thought Leon was like getting ditched by Ashley or... Yeah, more, more like dumped. <laughs> well, I, I thought he would follow- um, Ashley would follow um, Lewis, but apparently not. I, I, I really wish she would, she would just follow Lewis, but... Ugh, she's such a bit like annoying pest! She is so useless. What can she do? She can't even Wait. fire a weapon. Can't even handle a weapon. All she does is some useless ducking and getting kidnapped by enemies. Now here, you want to leave Ashley all the way back into that door. The reason why, you'll have to go inside this lovely place and with a cult in here. Hello. And you're going to hide inside this room, man. This room. Ah! <laughs> Whoa, that was scary. Oh, crap. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. You die. Oh. Wow, <laughs> I was not expecting this dude with- Whoa, that's a lot. Hey, hey, calm down, guys. I mean, I'm here to tour around this castle. Your castle is so lovely. You're not- you're dead, right? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> so many, like, jump scares. I mean, even though I've played this game more than 30 times, it still gives me a sudden jump scare sometimes. That, that's a really rare occasion. But still, yeah. Make sure you don't- Press the follow button to let Ashley follow you because if she follows you, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. There's gonna be like a bunch of enemies in this place, and if she follows you, she's gonna be a pest and trying to get hit by enemies and get killed or possibly get kidnapped as well. So that do sniper rifle and die. Now, of course, that's not the end of this area, right? Of course not. That would be like really boring ending. Right there, if you use a sniper rifle on this at this kind of angle, you'll be able to see a cult holding a spiky shield. Decapitate that dude because he's a pain in the ass. There's not only one, there's only two. There's two of that dude here, I think. Yes, there we go. Now, they get rid of this dude. It's really annoying. So, the only way to break this shield in one go is using a shotgun. It just snaps out. It just breaks into pieces. Now, you'll be able to beat the hell out of this cult. Now, if you don't have a shotgun ammo, this dude can be a real pain in the butt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I did not expect this dude to, like, lie down again. Alright, so that will be not all of this place. Now, remember about this barrel, because that barrel can be precious and save many of your life. Now here, the reason why I came to this door is because of this freaking key. This is the key that you need to proceed to the next level. So, after getting this key, and when you press A, the animation of the key disappears, right? You want to instantly turn around and shoot the red barrel. 
If you're fast enough, you'll be able to kill everyone. There's around four to five enemies here, so they are really pain in the butt. And they're holding, like, mace, trying to kill you. <laughs> so, if you're fast enough and accurate enough as well, shoot that barrel as soon as the key animation goes off. Then you'll be able to kill a bunch of enemies Bowling. without having to waste so much ammo and your life. And your health, not life. So, we can use this key to open up this door. Wait, just a minute. Let me just check. Hmm. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna possibly call this an episode and uh, because I know with... Oh, wait, actually, no. I'm actually imagining how long it's going to take. Because after this place... Oh, wait, it may not be the place I'm expecting, is it? Oh, it's not. <laughs> All right. I th <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Your laughing sounds really creepy and sexy at the same time. Whoever that is. Starting to wonder when you might notice us. Who are you? Me llamo Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellan of this magnificent architecture. I have been honored with the prodigious power from the great Lord Sadler. I've been expecting you, my brethren. No thanks, bro. My, my, we've got a feisty one. If you care for your own well-being, I suggest you surrender yourself and simply become our hostage. Or, Mr. Scott, you can give us the girl because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. You can die. I'm never turning into one of them. Never. Got that right. We'll find a cure. What an asshole, right? <laughs> so... Yeah, and if you go forward, a massive wall blocks the path. Yeah, that's a pain in the butt, which you might have to do something later on to open that. And up there, there's, there will be a jewel. You get the purple gem, and I think you'll be able to use this purple gem on at this case. No, we don't have anything <laughs> to match with it. Silly me. Anyway, so, this room doesn't contain much. Instead, it just have loads of my ginormous jaws. Yeah, that guy is called Salazar, and he will be... Well, he is the owner of this castle. The eighth, I suppose. <laughs> wow, what a rich bastard, right? I mean, if he can own a castle like this, then he'll be, like, freaking rich. Anyway, so... Alright, so here's the save file. I was actually mistaken uh, previously where I was, so I kind of lost the track. So anyway, I'm going to call this an episode. So in the next episode, we're going to explore further on what the hell is going on with this castle and find out loads of deadly things as well. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe button for more episodes. And I'll see you guys next time. And I hope you all have a fantastic day.